I uh, absolutely love making people feel good about themselves, so I have an obsession with makeup, I have an obsession with hair, and putting all that together, to me, I'm getting paid for something that's a hobby for me. I love doing it, it's fun, so why not, you know? Um, that's a tie between makeup and color. I absolutely love doing color. It's one of the things that transforms people. And then makeup, of course, you know, everybody loves to have their makeup done, whether it's natural look or glamour. So that's, that's kind of a tie there. Right now, I'm not having any. I have a lot of support from my family and my fiance, so I've been able to go to school, take care of my hours. I'm making up time from the winter hours, so it helps that I have that support there. Um, beforehand, I was a single parent for the first part of my son's life, and it was very hard working 80 hours a week just trying to get by, and uh, he spent a lot of time with my parents because I was working so much. So this is a completely rewarding experience. I get to see him every single day, and I get to give him all the things that I wanted him to have, so. I would say don't give up. Uh, even if you can only come at night, it is something. You can work it out. It's definitely worth it because you don't want to spend the rest of your time while they're young and growing missing everything because you're always at work. And it's hard and you feel bad because you're gone all the time, but you'll feel any worse. You'll feel worse whenever they grow up and they're like, yeah, you know, mom missed this and I didn't get to go here. So just commit to it, love what you do, and just stay committed. There are people that are willing to help you and Of course, when I hear beauty school, it's always been Ogle. I'm a Texas girl, I was born and raised in Fort Worth, so Ogle school is always the bigger the better. My mom went to Ogle, she came uh, back in the 90s, I think it was just to be a nail technician, so I've always heard about it. It was my first and last stop. I did not look into any other schools. This was where I wanted to go. Seeing the look on people's faces whenever they're done being in your chair, whether it's because you made them feel special and they've had a rough week, you changed the gray hair to not gray, non-existent, or you know, you just gave them a chance to be quiet and think for themselves and not have to worry about making dinner, or picking up the kids, going to the store, or, you know. It just it makes people feel important and when they leave happy, I leave happy because I know I'm making a difference, at least for the people I come in contact with every day. Um, actually, I do. It happened before I started at Ogle. I was working for Longcomb at Macy's and someone needed help covering up a lot of severe rosacea that they had. And um, I recommended some skincare and then I also helped them do makeup applications, showed them how to conceal. She left in tears because she was so happy. She couldn't believe that someone took their time to help her figure out how to conceal it, what was going to be the best, and give her samples so she could at least try it at home. And that was like the best feeling ever. I just, I went home feeling really good about myself and I knew that this is the industry I wanted to be in.